opportunity to praise God this morning. Amen. Let's raise our hallelujahs to Him because He's worthy of all praise and adoration. Hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. I'm presence of my enemy. I raise a hallelujah. And Five. 
Jesus, you didn't just stay in the grave, but you rose again, God. And because of that, we have resurrection power, God. And because of that, you want to use us to change the world around us. And God, we pray this morning that you would use us in ways big and small, Lord, to be able to impact the community around us. God, we thank you that the church isn't just a building, but it's a community of people, people who have one heart and, 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 and one mission, Lord, and that's to be used by you. And so, God, as, as we enter in this new series on the Holy Spirit, God, would you make us so aware of the role that the Holy Spirit plays in our lives, empowering us, strengthening us to get up and, and go again each day. And God, we thank you that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. And God, we, we, we pray that you would come and comfort this family at the moment, Lord, who's been, whose son is being diagnosed with celiac. God, we pray that the family would be able to make the lifestyle adjustments necessary to be able to keep their son healthy and well, God, and that in amongst this overwhelming news and amongst the, the chaos and the storm that life brings, God, that they'd be able to sing a hallelujah through it, that they'd know that you're God, you're still on the throne, and you're still worthy of being praised, God, and that we pray that, that through this whole adjustment, Lord, you would be glorified. And God, and for each of us as well, Lord, who are going through things today, God, would you come and would you allow us to, uh, allow our perspective to change and for us to, for you to be glorified as a result, Lord. And, and Lord, we, we pray that through everything we do, we'd know your Holy Spirit leading us and guiding us. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. 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 Well, welcome to church this morning, and a special welcome if you're new, visiting, or tuning in online today as well. If we've ever met before, my name is Matt, and I'm the Young Adults Pastor here at Eastgate Christian Centre. But we're a friendly church, so why don't you turn and greet someone as you take your seat this morning. We have a fantastic team of hosts who are down the front now, and in their hands is a welcome pack. In that pack, there's some information about who we are as a church. There's a form in there for you to fill out so that we can get to know you a little bit as well, and there's a chocolate that you're welcome to eat at any stage throughout the service this morning. So if you are new or visiting, as the hosts make their way down the aisles, please get their attention because they would love to get one of those to you. But Eastgate, we've got new people here. Let's make them feel welcome this morning. If you haven't heard, if you haven't seen the billboards around the place, uh, Eastgate has a production coming up titled Hope's Journey. And this is a production that's not only for our church, but for our community as well. Uh, the show is running this week from Thursday to Saturday, uh, and this is an event for our community. So can I encourage you to invite your friends along, invite family members along, invite non-churched uh, people along because tickets are selling out fast. And the way you can register is by heading out to the What's On page on our website. And to make this a reality too, we need some volunteer help. So if you are free from Thursday to Saturday and you'd, you'd want to come down and help make the show uh, possible through, through serving in a whole bunch of different areas, head to the eye center and sign up after the service. But we've got something a little bit special for you tonight, uh, this morning. And I believe there are some good morning. air hostesses. Good. good morning, good evening, good whatever time it is, welcome. We're so glad to welcome you aboard flight 777B and ensure that you enjoy your flight. Under aviation law, it is important that we give you a safety briefing. Before we take off, make sure all items are stowed in your overhead or seat below you, ensuring no loose items are in your way. Put away your meal trays, Make sure your seat is in the upright position and keep your eyes on the stage. Perhaps it's been a while since you've been on an aircraft. Well, let me tell you, you've never been on one like this before. I don't know what has brought you here tonight, but you can't get off this flight. I don't know what's gonna happen in your life. But you can't get off this flight I don't know what has brought you here tonight But you can't get off this flight I don't know what's gonna happen in your life But you can't get off this flight So enjoy your journey Tonight 
That is just one of the many musical numbers that take place in uh, Hope's journey. So can I encourage you, if you haven't already got your tickets yet, head to the What's On page, get your tickets. It's going to be a great show. But hey, Eastgate Kids and Charge, your leaders, are, oh, tickets are free too. You don't have to pay anything. It is a free, free event. And bring, bring friends along. Hey, Eastgate Kids in Charge, your leaders are so excited to spend some time with you this morning. You're going to continue worshiping God and connecting with Jesus in your programs this morning so you can make your way out to your spaces now. If you're new or visiting and you're not too sure where to go, we have a supervised creature that's open for under threes, programs for three and four-year-olds, school-age kids, uh, which is from year zero up to school years nine. If you're not too sure where to go, find the host in the fellowship area, and they will happily point you and your family in the right direction as well. But as next generation, make their way out, just a couple of things to bring to your attention this morning. Uh, the first is we have a new Alpha course starting on the 24th of May at 7 p.m. Uh, Alpha is an opportunity to create space in your week to talk about some of the things we don't get to talk about normally in our busy lives. You know, we don't often get to explore the meaning of life. If we know friends or family who have questions about God or, or what it looks like to, to live a life of faith or uh, the Holy Spirit or, or, or even just meaning in general, Alpha is a great way for you to have those questions answered, and it's, it, it's centered around discussion. So there's a, a video, and then there's a time of discussion together, and you can hear other people's opinions, and if you'd like, you can share your own. Alpha is a course that, over, that millions of people have done worldwide, so can I encourage you, if you haven't already done the Alpha course, whether you're not a Christian, whether you've been a Christian 10 years, 15 years, head along. It's going to be a great, great course. The second thing that we have coming up is our corporate prayer meeting. This is happening tonight at 7.15 p.m., with, uh, starting with the light supper before moving into a time of prayer. Uh, this prayer meeting in particular is going to focus on Hope's journey, and we're going to pray for the volunteers uh, who are making that happen. We're going to pray that everything will come together smoothly for it, and we'd love for you to join us uh, for an hour or so, praying that God would use this uh, event to, to bring salvation into the lives of people and bring hope to our community. Uh, so we'd love for you to see, we'd love to see you there. Uh, we're going to move into a time of giving now. And as the host service, we just want to say thank you so much for your faithfulness and generosity in giving into this church and allowing us to love and serve our community. Uh, there are other ways as well you can give on the screens. You can give through the iCenter, you can give through the app, or you can give um, through automatic banking as well and, and online banking. But while the bag's being passed around, we love to celebrate the good things that are happening in your life. And we do that here through Crunchies. So if you have anything worth celebrating, be it a birthday or a wedding anniversary, come forward because we would absolutely love to celebrate with you. What's your name? What are you celebrating? Uh, Simon and Judith. We're um, celebrating our wedding anniversary. Happy wedding anniversary. How many years? 36. Congratulations. That is awesome. That one might be broken, so you don't have to take it. What's your name? What are you celebrating? Uh, Joby and Ellen. We're celebrating our anniversary. How many years? Uh, I had to make it twelve. Years. <laughs> How many years, Ellen? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. 22. 22. Congratulations. <laughs> What's your name? What are you celebrating? Carl. Uh, birthday somewhere between a round number and a round number. <laughs> In the middle. Sounds yes. good. Happy birthday, Carl. What's the name? What are you celebrating? Uh, my name is Kyle, I turned 21. Happy birthday, Kyle. What's the name? What are you celebrating? Uh, my name's Lil. I'm actually just celebrating God's gifts of uh, talents and just my daughter's talents. Um, if any of you went to McLean's, uh, sorry, I'm just <laughs> really proud, uh, musical. So my daughter was there and she did a really good job. So just celebrating that we use our talents. Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> And 
someone's a little bit shy. Apparently it's Artie Karan's birthday. So happy birthday, Artie. There's a crunchy for you. Well, kia ora Fano. Good to be with you this morning. Good to see so many out. And uh, we're in for a great morning. Today is the third Sunday in the month, and it's the Sunday in which we profile one of our global mission partners. We're very passionate about global missions here at Eastgate. This morning, we're praying for Benjamin and Eliza, who minister as pastors in northern India, doing great work for God up there, but uh, they're also facing some very real challenges. They are praising God for some wonderful answers to prayer. Recently, there was a very severe storm. Houses were damaged, roofs were blown off, but nobody was injured or killed. They're really grateful to God for that. They're also thankful that uh, one of the men in the church who contracted coronavirus has re fully recovered. And also they've had a baptism. And uh, you'll see a picture of that on the screen in front of you. And that's been a wonderful testimony in the area. They are facing very real challenges. They're facing the third wave of coronavirus, threat to their lives and their livelihood. Uh, things are going up over there. There's inflation in the economy. Dairy products have increased 30%. Uh, we think we're facing a few costs here, but uh, it's far more drastic over there and affecting their budgets. And uh, they also want, they also want, they were requesting prayer for the young people of the area who are losing hope and facing, they feel as if they're facing a very, very bleak future, and I'm sure we can understand that. So we're going to pray for them, uh, and after we've prayed, going to receive an offering, which goes to our global mission budget. We are in the process of sending Benjamin and Eliza and the church $7,000, which will go towards uh, the repair of the fence that surrounds their church compound. Burglaries and break-ins have increased, and so they need to build a stronger fence and uh, so we'd really encourage you to be generous this morning in your giving. Let's pray for them. Father, we thank you for this couple who are standing strongly for you in northern India. Lord, we thank you that you're using them to reach people for the gospel. You're using them to reach out to people in practical ways. And we thank you, Father, for all the food parcels that have gone out throughout the region. God, in the way that you're using this couple, Lord, as a means of touching people in very practical ways and, and ministering to their financial needs. And God, today we bring them before you. We pray that you'll strengthen them. We ask that you will anoint them afresh, Lord, for this ministry to which you've called them. And God, we ask that you'll put a hedge of protection around them and not just them, but their entire church. In Jesus' name, God, let your angels encompass that church. God, that you'd keep them free them from the coronavirus and, that, and enable them to continue standing strongly for you. God, we pray for their financial needs today. God, would you be Jehovah Jireh to them, meet their needs in this time of when their budgets are being stretched, when the price of goods are going up. God, would you just minister to them and meet their needs in very, very practical ways. And we pray for the youth of the area. God, we thank you that you're a God who imparts hope and so, Lord, we pray that the youth will turn to you and in turning to you, find hope as an anchor to their soul and find life through Jesus Christ. And so we bring Benjamin and Eliza before your throne of grace. We ask boldly today that you will stand with them and enable them, Lord, to continue this great ministry that you have given them up there. Our hearts go out to them. We thank you that distance is no problem to you. And, Lord, that you're answering our prayers even as we begin to call out to you for them on their behalf today. Help us to be generous towards them today in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, church. Thank you for giving so generously. Now, this morning, we were due to start a new series on the Holy Spirit, and Pastor Christine was going to be speaking. Unfortunately, she's been unwell the last couple of days. What we're going to do is watch the introductory Holy Spirit video of Alpha. Now, there's three videos in the Alpha uh, curriculum that uh, address the Holy Spirit. The first one is, who is the Holy Spirit? So we're going to show this this morning, and uh, I'm sure you'll be impressed by the quality, the professionalism of the video, and uh, this should give you confidence in inviting people to Alpha. Uh, it's done extremely well, and uh, as has already been mentioned, we've got a new Alpha course starting shortly. We intentionally put it after Hope's Promise, so that those you bring to Hope's 
promise, hope's journey, isn't it? Hope's journey. Uh, you will have every confidence in bringing them to the next Alpha course. We're going to continue in this series on the Holy Spirit. It's Pentecost Sunday. Next Sunday morning, we'll be talking on the Holy Spirit and uh, explaining more about who He is and how we can experience His fullness in our lives. So I encourage you to come for this three-week series. We're going to continue in worship now. And uh, as we sing, I want to give you an opportunity to uh, come forward if you have any need in your life that you'd like prayer for. And uh, just like to read Psalm 103, really spoke to me as I prepared for the service today. Praise the Lord, my soul, forget not all His benefits. And these are some of the benefits, the blessings that God brings into our lives. He forgives all our sins, heals all our diseases. He redeems our life from the pit and crowns us with love and compassion. He satisfies our desires with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles benefits, the blessings that come to us from God. He forgives all our sins. Maybe you don't know Jesus in a personal way, and you'd like to know that. This morning, you can know Him. You can enter into that experience of having a personal relationship with God through Jesus and know that your past has been blotted out. The good news is, as we read this morning, He forgives all our sins. As far as the east is from the west, so far does God remove our transgressions from us. If you'd like to experience that, you can leave this place today, a changed person, receiving Jesus into your life and knowing that your sins have been forgiven. He heals all your diseases. Are you in pain? Do you have physical conditions that you would like prayer for this morning? Healing often takes place in stages. And maybe you've experienced a partial healing and you want God to complete the healing that He started. Jesus one time prayed for a blind man. And after he prayed for him, he said, can you see? And he said, I see men as trees walking. Jesus prayed for him a second time because he'd only partially experienced his healing. And then Jesus said, can you see now? And he said, I see clearly. I can see clearly. Maybe you were prayed for two weeks ago when we had an opportunity to come down the front. And so many receive prayer. Maybe you've had a measure of healing. You want that healing to be completed. Hey, why don't you come this morning and receive prayer? The prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up, the Bible says. We have oil here today and we'll anoint you with oil. Pray for God to continue His healing work in you. And then the psalmist says, He redeems our life from the pit and crowns us with love and compassion. Maybe you feel in a pit today. Maybe you feel trapped. Maybe you feel between, you're between a rock and a hard place. You're down. You're discouraged this morning. God wants to lift you out of the pit. I sense there's somebody here really discouraged. There's a woman here who's really discouraged. I strongly sense that. And God wants to minister to you today. And then he says, He satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's. Maybe you've been spoken to through the video this morning and uh, you'd like prayer for the Holy Spirit. We're like a sponge and uh, we can always have more of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. Can you have more of a person, enter into a greater relationship, experience more of them, their love, their compassion, everything that they offer through their personality? Yes, you can. And it's same with the Holy Spirit. We can always have more of the Holy Spirit. Maybe you're feeling dry today. Maybe you've been through a wilderness experience. You really want a fresh touch from God, an opportunity to come and receive prayer. God is here. I sense His presence. He wants to minister to people here in this service. And so we're going to stand. We're going to sing. And you come forward in faith today. Come forward expectantly. According to your faith, so shall it be done to you, Jesus said. And uh, we will pray for you. So let's stand. Let's worship. And uh, don't hesitate to come forward. Faith is a doing word, it's an action word. We demonstrate our faith and you can put faith to your faith this morning by coming forward and God will minister to you. He is here. Father, thank you for your presence in this place. 
God, thank You that You're a God who forgives all our sins. You heal all our diseases. God, You redeem our life from the pit. You crown us with love and compassion. God, I pray for those who are feeling hurt today, who are feeling broken. You wanna minister Your love, Your compassion to them. You satisfy our desires with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. God, when burdens lift off our life, when You take those burdens away, God, it's like our youth is renewed like an eagle. So Father, come and move. Holy Spirit, have Your way in our lives today. We open ourselves to You. We respond to You. We want more of You in our lives. So work during this time of worship in our hearts in a deeper way, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's sing. Let's worship God. If you'd like prayer, please don't hesitate to come. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Matches love and beauty and His Word. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Treasure of my heart and of my soul In my weakness you are merciful Redeemer of my past and present wrong Holder of my future days to come Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me.
on, there's still an opportunity for you to come down to prayer if you want it. of heaven pour your spirit out pour your spirit out for hearts that burn Here 
our Father everlasting, the your creating one, God Almighty. Through your Holy Spirit, conceiving Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection that we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. Judge and I defend, suffered and crucified. Forgiveness is in you. Descended into darkness, you rose in glorious life. Forever seated. Spirit, we thank you that you're not far off, you're not some abstract thought, but you're a person and, and you, you, you come and you want to infill our lives and enrich us and empower us to do things that we would normally do. But when you come along and you meet what we're doing, Lord, we, through the Holy Spirit, we have a greater strength, a greater capacity to do what you're wanting us to do, Father God. And so, Lord, I pray over everyone here. Lord, that as we step out into whatever we have planned for this week, that we would be filled with the Holy Spirit. Lord, that, that you would come and through your Holy Spirit, you would enable us and empower us to do things far greater than what we thought were possible. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. This morning we've learned about the Holy Spirit. We've learned that it's not, it's not abstract, but it's part, He's part of the Trinity. And one way that we gain access to the Holy Spirit is through a relationship with Jesus. So if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, and I'd love to give you an opportunity to start a relationship with Jesus. And we just do that through a simple prayer. So with every head bowed and every eye closed in this place, if you'd like to start a relationship with Jesus, you'd say, Matt, would you pray for me? Could you just raise your hand just so I know who I'm praying for this morning? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pray. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died on the cross, but you didn't stay dead, but you rose again. And that through that miracle taking place, I can have relationship with you. Lord, I invite, Jesus, I invite you to come and be Lord of my life and King of my heart. And I pray that you would fill me with the Holy Spirit that you promised your disciples that through your Holy Spirit leading me and guiding me, you, I would be able to live the rest of my days for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you did pray that prayer, can I encourage you to tell someone that is the best news that you could ever make. We've got a team member at the back who would love to give you a Bible and we'd love to have a conversation. And hey, could you maybe come along to Alpha? It's a great place to continue this conversation as well. Uh, but we've got a team member at the back who would love to equip you and support you at the start of this relationship with Jesus. We also have a prayer ministry team available as well for anything you would like prayer for after the service there under the cross on your right-hand side of the auditorium. And who can you bring to church next week? In the middle of this Holy Spirit series, is there, are there friends of yours, people you know who are a little bit hesitant on the Holy Spirit, don't know too much about Him? Can I encourage you to bring them along to church next week? Bring them along to Hope's Journey, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. And then bring them to church and then bring them to Alpha and just see what, see what God can do. Let's be a church that always seeks to have room for one more, always wants to invite one person along. So who can you bring along next week? Well, that wraps up our service for this morning. We'll see you back here same time, same place next week. Be blessed as you go and have a fantastic Sunday, church. I believe in love eternal. I believe in the virgin birth. I believe in the saints' communion. 